Hello and welcome to Help From Helen. I'm just going to talk a little bit about harvesting your lavender for drying. This time of year your angustifolias are probably finishing flowering. They're at different stages depending on your variety and you can cut them back at different stages too depending on what you're wanting from the plant. The lavender go through, goes through three stages of the flowering. We have one here where you can see it's just coming into bud and not opened up yet. We have other flowers here where you can see they've started to open up and we also have some that have finished and they've gone to seed otherwise known as grain as well. If you were to harvest your lavender plant whilst it's still in bud you get a lovely scent from them that's probably quite long lasting however the bees don't benefit so it might be worth waiting for them to come out in flower. You could harvest them also when they're out in flower but it is good to let the bees have as much of the flower as possible but you'll also get the little pretty open petals if you harvest them at this stage. And finally when they're finished flowering they start to turn into a seed and this is usually when most of the lavender is harvested for the oils. This is a good stage to do it at because the bees have had what they can from it and it's ready to be cut and pruned anyway. So for drying purposes, I'm going to harvest ones that have finished flowering. To do this, all you need to do is take lavender down into the foliage so you get the nice long stems. Trim it with some sharp scissors, tie it into little bunches and then hang it upside down in somewhere that's sort of dark and airy and these will just dry naturally. If you're interested in drying out your own lavender for crafts then you can buy one of these wonderful plants lavenderworld.co.uk We also do ready dried lavender and dried lavender bunches in case it's a little late in the season or you don't have your own plant at this stage. These are all available at lavenderworld.co.uk